Beard here today with a little bit of a different video. It's just a little over three minutes, but we're going to be playing with some Bria Reese alcohol inks, uh, which are now available in Target, by the way. Hello. But I'm also going to be using fire. You got it. I, Laurel Beard, am going to use fire. My sister-in-law was visiting last week and I made one of these and she was <laughs> like waking out because of the addition of the fire. Now, in all seriousness, if this is a technique that you're going to try, obviously you need to use safety precautions. I'm working off of a service that is fire resistant, and obviously I'm using care when I'm using my lighter. When I'm using my lighter, I make sure there's nothing flammable nearby. I only want my fire in that dish. Now, before I get into it, you do not have to use fire. You can just add the alcohol ink like I'm doing, add the isopropyl alcohol, and simply not use fire. You won't get the, the fine lines and kind of that marbleated look, but it will still be just as gorgeous. Now, now what is going to light on fire is actually the isopropyl alcohol that you add to your alcohol inks to get it moving. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So here's the surface I'm working off of. That is aluminum foil, oven, grill, fire resistant. And I've place it on here. It doesn't catch fire. I've made countless bowls uh, or dishes, whatever we're calling these things, uh, many times. So this is going in with some ocean green Bria Reese alcohol ink. That Mr. Bottle is filled with the isopropyl alcohol that I got from the grocery store pharmacy. It's everywhere under the sun. I think this is 91%. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. Now, when I'm adding inks, I'm going to add like too much, too little. I wanted to show you how forgiving alcohol ink is. So when I go in and add this purple, I'm adding way too much. That little fan brush is strictly for alcohol inks. I don't use that with any other mediums. So I sprayed the alcohol in there to kind of move that color around. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Now the fire actually reacts to the alcohol in the spray bottle, the isopropyl alcohol. So there I did. I sprayed the alcohol and then I took my lighter and I lit it on fire. <laughs> this is where my sister-in-law was like, ah! but it's all contained in the bowl. I recommend using a long, like a grill lighter. Don't use matches or a little like cigarette lighter or whatever. You don't want to be that close to, to fire. So every time you add that alcohol that's in that mister bottle, it kind of moves the alcohol ink around, but that's what's flammable. So I took this little blower thing. I'll link to it below in the YouTube description to kind of blow it around and get these fun little puddles, if you will. And then I spray the alcohol and then I light it on fire. <laughs> uh, this is the medium magenta. And again, I added a drop, added some isopropyl alcohol, and then I lit it on fire. I mean, I don't know what made me do this. Like, hey, Laurel, let's light some alcohol on fire. Uh, but uh, I did. And I, and I really like how it turned out. And I wanted a little tiny bit of that ocean green and a little tiny bit of that medium magenta showing. Uh, but I wanted this predominantly to be purple because the person I made this for, her favorite color is purple. Um, and that's it. Now, when you're working with alcohol inks, I'm pretty sure I said it, but if not, you always need to work in a ventilated area. It stinks, okay? Um, use care. Use caution. The fire is going to react to the isopropyl alcohol that's in the mister bottle. Um, so where that alcohol sprays is where that, and you, you know, when you add the fire, that's what it's reacting to. So where the spray is, is where the fire is. So keep that in mind. As you can see, the fire was entirely contained inside that bowl. I didn't spray it outside the bowl or anything like that. I kept it contained. And this was really a lot of fun. And I've created like 10 of these so far. Some are very simple, like a little green with a little bit of gold. And this one's kind of way out there. Almost looks like a galaxy. This would be really pretty on the background of a card. Uh, so there you have it. Alcohol ink with fire. Again, use caution. I had no problems. Nothing caught fire near me. Not my clothes, not anything, but obviously use caution when you're working with a flammable product. <laughs> now remember, you don't have to use fire if you don't want to. So just keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very different for me and uh, my house is still standing all is well. I love these dishes. They're going to make great gifts. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time.